Lyle, hey, this is Brandon from Vlog Epicness. What's up, Brandon? I know that you're the only one that could help me. Please, please help my wife fix. No need to say anymore. I know I forgot to put that turkey recipe up. This turkey is going to be something that I'm sure your wife can knock out in no time on Thanksgiving. This should help. What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue and what I'm going to be doing today is a turkey. And my favorite way of making turkey above any other way whether it's frying it or even smoking it is the high temperature method. And basically what we're going to be doing on this is putting it in the oven at 450 degrees once we've done a few things to it until it reaches 165 degrees. And what it does is it's cooking so fast that it doesn't have time to dry out. So I've found a lot of times if you cook turkey at like 325 or somewhere in that neighborhood, it can have a tendency to be a little bit dry. You won't have that issue with this. What I'm going to be doing is injecting this turkey with a Cajun injector Creole butter. Now I usually do use Tony Satchery, so we'll see how this turns out. I'll kind of be telling you how I feel about this when we're done. We are going to be stuffing the cavity with uh, some onion, apples, thyme, and uh, oregano. And no salt on the outside. We're going to oil it down a little bit and we're going to add some thyme, uh, rosemary, and pepper to it. So I'm going to bring you guys in so we can, so can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. And then it'll be on to the oven. this thing injected up I'm just gonna kind of wipe down the outside I'm not sure how much butter or what the contents are of that uh, injection I just don't want it to be burning with this high temperature so I got that rubbed down I'm just gonna start throwing in these onions apples let's throw some of these herbs in there. Now when you're doing this one thing I just have to mention right now is you're not going to want to do a turkey over like 14 pounds with this. So it looks like that's going to be enough right there. Now normally when you see people tie these legs back here like this or the way it's it came you know packaged up the legs are kind of pulled back you don't want that cooking at this temperature you want there to be circulation around this entire thing. So now I got my oil I'm just gonna rub it down and this is just canola oil now we're just gonna kinda hit it with a little Seasoning actually I might have even put a little bit too much on there of that And I will go ahead and do the bottom of this now, off camera. Okay, it's time to get this turkey in the oven. Just came up to 450 degrees. I have a thermometer that plugs into my oven that uh, will tell me when it gets to 165 degrees. If it looks like it's getting a little dry, what I will do is uh, baste it down with a little bit of uh, canola oil. Like I said, you don't want to use butter. You can if you make a clarified butter, which, you know, I guess I could have made that. I didn't want to spend an extra, you know, eight minutes doing it. But uh, canola oil works just fine. I took this to about 168 degrees uh, just to be safe. Uh, I put it in at 2 o'clock. It's now 347, so that's a pretty quick cook on a turkey. Uh, I did baste it a couple times. Make sure that if you are basting this, that uh, 
you don't get any liquid on that glass door. I was just in a YouTube cooking group and somebody had posted something where they had dropped some water on a on a stove that was at 475 degrees. So anyway, same thing when you're pulling this out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this turkey rest here for about 15-20 minutes and then I'll cut into it and you'll be able to see what's up with it. Pretty quick cook. Let's kind of get into this and see kind of what's going on. I don't want to cut all of it right now. <clears throat> Very moist. That's the main reason to do this high temperature turkey. Now I'm trying to get a taste on that uh, on that Creole injection that was in there. I have to say, in my opinion, I think the Tony Satchery's is has a lot more flavor. This has some flavor, but it's just not. Doesn't pop out at you, but it helped with this moist turkey. Anyway, if you haven't tried a turkey at high temperature, try it this year. Just make sure it's under 14 pounds, uh, 450 degrees. Use some common sense. So if you see it starting to get a little hot, it didn't do that on this turkey, but sometimes they'll start browning up pretty quick. Just dial the temperature back a little bit and. Uh, Keep rolling, you know, dial it down like 400 maybe, but uh, knock out a turkey in less than two hours. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.